Hello. With this new version of Windows 10, the Anniversary Edition, the store starts, shall we say, automatically downloading and suggesting apps for you, which is not ideal and you cannot turn it off using group policy or even the registry. Okay. However, there are two ways and we should show you this, how to do it over here. Okay, this is the Windows Store right now. What I would do, okay, which is the safest method, is type in firewall. Okay, go for the advanced security version. Okay, click on inbound rules. Okay, this is one I created, so I'll just delete this. Don't worry about this one. Okay, yeah. What you should see down here, okay, a pre-created one that is the store, okay? Now, if you double click on that, open it up, block the connection. Do the same in outbound rules, okay? Okay, this is again one rule that I created, but I'll just delete that, okay? And this is how it comes out of the box. Go down once again, find store and then block this connection. If you also want to do the store purchase app, you can block that one as well. Okay, and don't forget to close this down. Now, if I open up the store, you will see it's all blocked. Okay, refresh the page, doesn't work. Okay, if you want to go even deeper, Okay, you will see that there's like group music, films and TV. You can find them also in the rules. Okay, like films and TV, where is that? Okay, you can block that one off as well. And then group music, you can block that one off as well, both in inbound and outbound. Okay, so this is the simplest way to stop Windows Store automatically giving you all this apps all these apps that you don't want okay the second way okay which is a harder way okay is to actually uninstall windows store and if you need it to get it back so we should show you how to do this okay so basically what you're going to need to do is click over here and then type in PowerShell. Okay, right click on it. Make sure you run as administrator. Okay, click yes. And what we're needing to do is type in some commands. Don't worry, these commands should be in the description so you can just copy and paste them in here. So get apex. Okay, package dash all users and then that will give you a long list of them okay what you'll need to do is scroll up through this and find Windows Store it may take you a minute or two it's do, 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 do. Windows Store there we go you need the package full name, so you need to copy this. Okay, you select it that way and then right click with your mouse or just control C on the keyboard. Okay, now what you need to do is remove, okay, dash APPX package. Okay, and then you just paste in that name and as you'll see okay and now you'll see it's gone sometimes it might leave right at the top most used um, store for example if you click on that you're actually gonna get your store back so restart your computer and then you're okay now you're probably wondering um, basically how do I get store back if 
if I wanted at some point. Okay, it's the same concept. Okay, you need to go to PowerShell. Oops, I'll just type in here PowerShell. And then open that up as administrator. Now, you will actually need to download a file from Microsoft first. Okay, now the link should be in description. Okay, we'll paste in the address. Okay, over here, this should be again in the description for you. Okay, and click on that. It will basically download, okay, the reinstall package information. Okay, we've already downloaded it before, that's why it comes up with a one. Okay, now you can open that up. Okay, and what you need to do is copy, okay, copy this and, for example, paste it to. Let's say in this case, whoops, let's go to the C drive itself, okay? We've already pasted it, so you just paste it and then paste over here. Now, in PowerShell, you need to run a couple of commands first, okay? The first one is set, okay, and then it's dash execution. Policy unrestricted. Okay, and then type yes. Okay, that's that done. The next thing you need to do, okay, so now what we need to do is go to where we pasted our file. Okay, so when you open up the administrator, it generally doesn't start at the C beginning of C, the route where we have actually pasted that. Okay, so we'll just type in cd backslash, okay, which actually brings you there. If I type in dir, you'll be able to see the file. What we now need to do is type in this. Again, this command should be there in the description that you can just copy and paste. Run that. It says run once. Once we have basically ensured we have set execution policy, okay, you can then run once, okay. That should bring back store. If we type in store, there we go. And our store is back. Just a couple of little things that you might want to do to tidy up everything towards the end is reset your Windows Store, which is that command which we have over here, wsreset.exe. Okay, you just run that. That basically just resets the cache of the Windows Store. Okay, it takes about a minute or a little bit less actually. There we go, and then it'll open up Windows Store again. Let's close that. And another thing is, remember before we put back, I mean, we created the execution policy to unrestricted. That's a little bit dangerous to keep it open all the time. So let's just um, do one final thing, set execution policy and back to restricted. Okay, that's yes. There we go. So. This video a little bit long, however, it's shown you how to block Windows Store from running, okay, using the firewall. If you completely want to get rid of it, we've shown you how to completely remove it, and also how to reinstall it if need be. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.